Eighty-eight, eighty-seven, eighty. Pulse is eighty-two. Saturation is eighty between eighty-six and eighty-eight. Good for the second. Not good. <laughs> it's gonna get better. Yeah, it should be nineties, yeah. right? No, it, it it'll take some time to be. Eighty-nine, ninety. It's okay. It's good. So I'm better than Eric. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we need enough. What do we need to know? That I'm better than Eric. <laughs> Well, we're still adjusting to uh, altitude so and time frame as far as jet lag. We get up early in sporadic sleeping, so I decided this morning I'd do some time lapses, been out here a few hours. But what's really uh, cool is as the clouds are moving and, and changing around, it was really pretty hot with a slight chill into the evening. got pretty cold last night. And up here, if you can check this out behind me, right up in here, it snowed last night so it snowed up on the uh, pass that's where we're going to be going i believe in a couple days um and film the ultra marathon so summertime but uh, you just don't know what the weather is going to be like up here in cashmere Dajini, this is the first flush so these are the first tea that's plucked and dried that's the tea it's called the first flush and it's from so it's from Darjeeling. And they supply uh, it. They to... supply it. Uh, you have different tea gardens. So Castleton goes to the Queen of England, I believe, and it goes. It's, it's exported all across the world. And to my time lapse. Yeah, and we get it directly from the factory. So it's sold loose. Like so, we literally sort of choose our tea leaves. We, we don't just uh, oh, buy you choose it. them. Yeah, so it's loose. Oh. So there's a way of smelling it and getting the flavor. So we, according to that, we buy it. <laughs> ah, drinking tea that's been not only hand picked but each leaf has been hand selected literally and smelled to make sure it's appropriate thousands of them to make this tea hey Jim. Yeah. you give us any uh, fashion tips well trick with this environment is being able to move from hot to cold very quickly. So I've adopted the lift and drop. Mostly drop when people come by because I'm not quite sure about the conservative culture around here. But uh, yes. Isn't the lift and drop mostly uh, exercised by the 12 year old population? Yes and adventure filmmakers in the Himalayas. Those are the two main applications of the lift and drop. So this is some of the more amazing parts of the job when we get to take a few moments to come in and experience some of the local culture. Right now we've walked up a hill to the top of this 14th century temple which was built by the first king of this region here in Ladakh. And it's incredible to think that this has been standing here uh, since the 14th century, which is longer than I've ever stood anywhere. <laughs> 